Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Bloat's History of Christmas. Please turn the page when you hear the... And remember to have fun. And now, Miss B.B. McPherson. Do, 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 jingle bells. Once upon a time, the earth was a large, dark, black ball. No one lived in such a place except the dark shadows that hovered over the land, making screeching sounds for hundreds of years. They shadowed up the planet until one day, the largest and ugliest shadow sneezed a tiny iridescent beetle. The beetle was changing colors all the time. Every night he ate dinner alone. The night was always silent, and the silence began to drive him slowly. He awoke one morning to a pain in his left ear. He screamed in torture, and out of that scream came a world full of animals. All the animals were unlike the animals of today. These animals were special. There were tiger birds, there were pandas with giraffe-like necks, cats the size of tall buildings walking around on their hind legs. Horses spoke another language and had sharp, gnashing teeth. And the sharks had breasts for everyone to play with. These creatures, they loved each other so much that they began to celebrate the existence of one another. They created the holiday. Easter was given to the rabbit-like creatures since they populated the planet through egg births and also provided egg feasts once a month. You see, it was a great time and cannibalism was not frowned upon. The bear-like creatures were given Valentine's Day not out of the fact that they loved so much as they did. The simple fact is, is that they feasted on hearts. That was always a frightening holiday. You never knew whose heart you were eating. The Christmas holiday was given to the half goat, half fish, half fish, hash, half fish creature, Capricorn. Capricorn was constantly giving away delicious bites of his body, for he could regenerate. Such a reliable creature, that one. That's why we give gifts on Christmas Day. He gave his body and blood to feast on. There was one creature left out of all of the holiday hoopla. He was always alone, for he lived in the Earth's core and was only allowed to come out once a year. The Christmas Donkey One Christmas came and the donkey was so angry, he plucked a fly creature off of his tail, breathed on it, and out came human beings. 
The humans were a terrible curse. They stole everything, and especially Christmas. They claimed some guy named Jay Zeus was the reason for the celebration, and that it has been like that for many, many years. Not this Christmas, though. The Capricorn, being the reliable half goat, half fish, half half goat, half fish of a creature, will not tolerate it any more. The Capricorn's ambition cannot be matched. Capricorn wants his God-given holiday back, and with the Capricorn's natural persistence, motivation, and self-starting wonderment. Capricorn is taking Christmas back, 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 Oh, uh-huh.